Good morning, friends. Today I'll be working on writing a second piece of how to work. Now, what I'm going to do to make my how to writing really clear so you understand the directions on how to do something that I know how to do is use these transitional words first, next, then, after that, and finally. These words help my writing be more interesting and also help to make it move along smoothly. Everyone will know exactly how to do something I know how to do and the order to do it in with these special words. So I've brainstormed my how-to ideas already. They're right here. And I've added how to plant a flower. I also made a video so you could see how to plant a flower too. Now that I've made that video, I'm ready to write my how to work on how to plant a flower. What do we start our sentences with? That's right, a capital letter. So I'm gonna try to remember to start my sentence with a capital letter. This is the rough draft. That me This means I'm gonna get my ideas all down and I'm gonna do the best I can with my spelling, with my capital letters, with my punctuation and my finger spaces in between words, okay? Let's see, first, I've started with a capital letter. First, go to the store and buy a flower. kind of dirt that's full of vitamins and nutrients to make your plants grow extra big and a pot. So here's my first. First go to the store and buy a flower, soil, and a pot. Remember when you're at the store stick close with your parents and, and stay safe, okay? So here's our first. I'm gonna say Next, next, find a place to work outside because you might get dirty. Okay, I've got my se second sentence down. Then, roll up your sleeves. Okay, and get ready to work. Another sentence at the end of a sentence, what do we use? A punctuation mark, that's right. So I'm gonna put a period there, I'm remembering that. Okay, so I've got first, next, then. Now I'm gonna start my next sentence with after that. Ooh, I started with a capital letter, way to go me. After that, open. the soil and pour it into the empty pot. Oh, yep, yep, is that what pot starts with? No, let's fix that right away. Good thing I caught that mistake until it's almost full. Okay, I'm at the end of a sentence. I'm gonna use a punctuation mark. My statement is complete, so I'm going to put a period. Finally, take the 
the flower out of its plastic container. Goliath. Goliath is trying to make me make mistakes. Did you see that? But I'm working really hard to stay focused on my writing. Finally, take the flower out of its plastic pot and put it in a pot filled with soil. In the pot filled with soil. Push it down so new so that the new soil covers the roots of the flower and then pat down the soil. We successfully have a flower in a beautiful pot when we're all done. But he's, I'm gonna keep writing. And then when I'm all done with my writing, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna look really close at this work. Ugh, because some of my writing looks like it could use some finger spaces and other work. In our next lesson, I will teach you how to proofread. So that means to fix the mistakes that you see in your work. So today, what I'd like you to do is write your how-to story using the tra transitional words. First, next, then, after that, and finally. Don't worry about this piece of writing being totally perfect. Do the best you can, and tomorrow we'll look over your writing and we'll fix any mistakes that we see. And then we'll rewrite so everyone can read our work and understand what it is that we're teaching them how to do. Thanks for being here today. I miss you. Bye, guys.